Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Kirti Shweas. I am from bloggingverse.com. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about the number of plugins which are totally free and you must need to use in your WordPress blog for a free of cost. So what are those plugins? What is the use of those plugins and how exactly those plugins can help you to automate most of your website process? That's what I'm going to explain here in this particular video. So guys, if you're new to this channel and watching my face first time, make sure you subscribe, like and share as much as possible. Without wasting time, let's go to the screen and there we will discuss about the best WordPress plugin every beginner must use. So guys, here we are on the screen. And first of all, guys, if you're new to the blogging and uh, if you really want it to be trained in a blogging for nine days, then make sure you provide your name and email ID. I will send you nine days free PDF in order to make your blog successful. So guys, let's talk about what are those plugins. And first of all, we will discuss about what exactly the meaning of plugin. In that case, guys, what you have to do is just make sure you click to the start a blog on this particular website. Then after you will be here on the screen. And on this screen, guys, these are the different 11 fundamentals which you have to go through in order to set up your blog. And there is section number. If you will go here, guys, there is a section with the name of number eight step number eight which is wordpress themes and mandatory plugins if you click to that guys you will be on this particular screen where i have listed all the plugins which you must need to have now what i will do is guys i will go through each of the plugin and will explain you the importance of those plugin because wordpress is better than blogger because and because it support number of plugins more than 55,000 plugins is available in WordPress directory, which you can install free of cost and even you can upgrade for their premium services as well. So guys, let's talk about the first plugin, which is Akismet Anti-Spam. In parallel, what I will do is guys, I will go to the site and the site on which the plugin is already installed. So there you can see guys, Akismet Anti-Spam has been installed. What is the purpose of this plugin? So guys, Akismet Anti-Spam is a plugin which is basically helping your website which is basically preventing your website from any robotic attack because you know there are lots many people who are running their bots in order to place some irrelevant comment on your website even they try to hack your website so akismet anti-spam is actually been used in order to avoid your website from being spam or being spammed through the bot so make sure you use this plugin and this is by default installed whenever you will first install the wordpress so simply click to activate and go with the free registration so guys, this is very important. Now the next plugin guys, which will be a Jetpack. And what is that plugin will does is Jetpack is a feature of WordPress.com, not WordPress.org, right? And WordPress.com has a feature called Jetpack. Jetpack actually monitor your website. Whenever your website will down, it will send you a notification. Along with that, it also improve your website security. And guys, if your website has been installed with a Jetpack, then you will be having an auto sharing option of your post on various social media platform as well. So make sure you have installed Jetpack on your website that even you will get here in this list. If not, then make sure it should be there. Now there is the next plugin, which is a search engine optimization plugin. Basically this plugin is either Yoast SEO or Rank Math. Guys, I suggest you to use a Rank Math and that's what I have provided there. Rank Math is a totally free plugin. All the premium feature of Yoast SEO has been included in the Rank Math as well. Nowadays, guys, this become very popular because this is helping people in order to do on page SEO. So when it comes to SEO, make sure you go with the Rank Math. And if you are currently using Yoast SEO, then Yoast SEO has a two plan. One is their free version, which you can use very frequently, not an issue. But if you wanted to upgrade, then even you can upgrade with a paid one. But remember, all the paid feature of your SEO has been already included in rank math so make sure you install a rank man if you're currently using a yoast seo then guys there is a process which i have explained here in i button on my another channel how exactly to migrate from yours to rank man so this plugin you should have in your website as a beginner the next one is guys image optimizer you remember guys your website performance will totally depends on three part one is web hosting second one is theme and third one is the type of images or the size of images which you are using inside the blog and when it comes to images guys you must have a something in place which auto optimize your images there you can use two plugin either short pixel and the second one is a smush smush is totally free but 
the quality of this smudge is a little bit lower as compared to the short pixel guys i would strongly suggest you must go with a short pixel short pixel is having its premium version as well but if you will install this first time using the link given in the description every month you will get 100 free images to optimize your website images so every by the end of every month that you you will keep getting 100 images and that's what you can use for free of cost but in case you wanted a more size or more number of image optimization then even you can buy i think 5000 images for five dollars something but guys i strongly suggest you must have short pixel in your website you wanted to see guys so in my website itself i have installed the short pixel so if you will scroll down guys there you can see short pixel image optimizer right so this is a free plugin must install this particular one now let's go to the next one guys and the next plugin is your caching plugin so guys in the case of a caching what exactly caching helps caching is a plugin which actually uh, which actually create a copy of your website inside the browser of a user if somebody is visiting your website again and again then this particular plugin will hold that website data into his browser and within a 24 hour it keep flushing based on your setting so the, whenever the person will try again to visit your website instead of sending that request to the server actually it will pull the data from the browser itself and with the help of this even you have a low budget or a low pricing hosting with a minimum server capacity even you can handle a much load so guys make sure this plugin should be installed and the free of cost plugin is guys w3 total cache which i was using very earlier but recently i have migrated my website with another paid or premium plugin here wp rocket wp rocket is having a little bit advanced feature than w3 total cache but as a beginner for a free of cost you can go with w3 total cache wp rocket cat link i will provide in the description in case you really wanted to buy that particular one otherwise you are free to use a w3 total cache so that was the caching plugin now next come to guys the next plugin which is a four which is actually used to fix the 404 error and where there you can use two plugin guys so one is a broken link checker and second one is a redirection so what exactly this does broken link checker is a plugin let imagine on this particular site i have linked one of the external site with this anchor tags and imagine in the future if the external site has changed his url or might be that page has been removed from the internet this particular url if somebody will click to this one that will be a 404 page why because that page which was earlier linked with this one is no more exist so if you have installed broken link checker that will automatically tell you that these are the anchor text which are now been broken please replace it with the another working pages so that's amazing one and the next one is guys redirection what is the redirection imagine guys recently you have migrated your website from blogger to wordpress in the blogger your permalink is having a date and year and all that right but in the case of wordpress you have ability to remove them particular one from your website and if this is the case guys you will get an error because earlier url was different now the url is different and whenever somebody is clicking to the old one this time it will show a 404 pages because now the url has been changed so using a redirection plugin guys this plugin free of cost there will be two options one is source and sec second one is a destination inside the source you have to provide your earlier url and destination your new url so now if somebody will click to the old one it will automatically direct to the new one you will maintain your seo so this is specially been used for 301 redirect and i have also added a video on how to fix 404 error using this kind of plugin in the i button as well now let's go to the guys second one which is tiny mc advanced so what is this this is particularly kind of an editor so guys what happened is whenever you will be in a uh, wordpress and try to write a new blog so basically the editor which you can see on the screen will be a default blog type of editor which actually they call a Gutenberg editor but what I need is I need an editor which will look like as in my word document so there you can see guys there will be a title here I can write and there will be a table through which I can make it as a paragraph make it as a bold make it as a header something so that kind of editor if you need then make sure you use a plugin with the name of tiny mc advanced so guys this is the plugin which you have to use it now when it comes to the website backup which is very crucial because your website is in the wordpress you are responsible for any sort of crashes so make sure you use a plugin with the name of updraft plus this is totally free only thing which you have to do here is go to your website one time in a week and simply click to a button which will manually take a backup of your website so there you can see guys if i will scroll it down so there is a plugin with the name of 
up drop plus if you will click to this particular one that will move to a screen there will be an option backup now if you will click to that particular button automatically your site backup will be taken and the best part is using which you can take the backup inside your google drive as well so that's an amazing feature this is totally free of course but if you wanted to schedule the backup then obviously you can upgrade their plan which is not much needed so again this is a mandatory plugin if you are looking for that now guys the next plugin is an ad inserter what does this plugin does you remember guys if your website is in google adsense right it's been monetized using google adsense so in order to uh, in order to place let's say this particular site so in order to place ad code at various places of your website to display ads you cannot copy paste the google adsense code at various places of your website right so what you can do is you can use a plugin with the name of ad inserter and inside the plugin specify a position like after one paragraph two paragraph once you will set up that then automatically ad will display to those places throughout your website so from a single place you can manage your advertisement in future you wanted to replace it with new one you can do that very easily so guys that's the plugin you have to use in order you are using any advertising platform okay so that was the plugin i am suggesting you so these are the mandatory plugin you have to use it in addition to that guys uh, what i will do is i will also give you uh, an idea of couple of bonus plugin which you can use which actually i'm using myself so what are those plugin guys let me go through the first one now guys the next plugin is easy table of content which many of you have asked me how exactly you can add a table of content in your website if you are struggling with that and looking for a table like this in this particular website if i will scroll here and if you wanted to set up an auto insert table over there then make sure you use a plugin easy table of content that will take the header one header two header three of your website and will create this kind of table which will make your job easier to create a jump link as well so make sure the plugin for inserting table of content is easy table of content so that is another thing which you have to use and then after guys if you are looking for a pasting a header code in between h1 to h2 uh, h1 tag such as google analytics header code facebook pixel header code uh, google adsense ad header code so instead of copy pasting those header code inside the theme editor make sure you use a plugin and in that plugin you can copy paste those code and that's why the plugin which i'm using is header footer code manager what i'm doing is i'm just going there creating a snippet inside the snippet i'm pasting the code that code will automatically paste inside the header of the website so that make your job very easier and then guys social warfare is a plugin which you can use on your website like this this will create a social icon for free of cost so you can use this one recently i'm going to migrate this particular plugin with a new one and that will be a social snap plugin which i will provide the link in the description which is having a little bit more feature than to this particular one it will also show the live count of your existing social media account like on youtube if i'm getting 40000 subscriber that will also show on your website so it has smart feature but as for beginner for a free of cost you can use a plugin with the name of social warfare and the rest of the things guys uh, these are the mandatory plugins i'm suggesting you as a beginner to install this will solve all your problem if you still got confused then make sure guys you go to this particular post which has a detailed summary of each and every plugin which plugin do you have to use step number 8 and guys i hope this video uh, is bit helpful for you if this is so make sure you like subscribe and share as much as possible and keep watching other videos which are added in the i button as well as already been uploaded on this particular channel that's all for today guys hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this one